uh, Dr. Heavenly University was actually started uh, two years ago um, because so many dentists uh, came out of school not knowing the business part of running a practice. But then I noticed a lot of people needed my help. So I opened up Dr. Heavenly University to everybody who wanted to start and run a successful business. And we talk not just about business, we talk about money and savings, and we also talk about relationships. Because at the end of the day, you can run all the business in the world. If you don't have anybody to share it with, it means nothing to a lot of people. Well, first of all, I want to say I made all the mistakes. A lot of people look at what I've done, but they've not seen the struggle and everything that I've, all the mistakes I've made. I've made so many mistakes. I started Dr. Heavenly University to show the people my mistakes so they don't have to make the same dumb mistakes. So my, my next thing, um, I started Married to Medicine this year. This is my first season. Uh, hopefully that will continue. I'm sure it will. Um, and I want to I wanna do my own talk show. I want to continue Dr. Heavenly University. I want to help people start and run a successful business, learn how to invest their money, and also learn how to have a great relationship. Not just with your man, but with God as well. My book is called Dr. Heavenly's Business Prescriptions. You can have it all. You can have the business, you can have the money, you can have the relationship, you can have the kids, but it all has to come at a price. You have to know your priorities and you know you have to balance. Is there really a balance? No. But if you know what your priorities are, and for me it's always been God, then family, then the career. So if you got that balance, I think you can make it work. Well, for me, I'm a very strong woman. Um, I would have to have a man that's very strong. Um, and I have to know, I know a lot of people ridicule me, my, no, but know my place as the wife. You know, I know I have to be a wife to my husband and I have to allow him to be the man. Uh, my husband is a very successful physician and um, he actually lets me be me. But when I get home, I learn to turn my bossiness, if you will, off and become the wife and mother I need to be.